It's never before seen footage. Are you caught? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi shown fleeing the U.S. Capitol as it was under attack on January 6. The videos captured by her daughter, Alexandra Pelosi, a documentary filmmaker. We have got to finish the proceedings or else we would have had to come on She provided some of her footage to the January 6 Select Committee, who played clips in their hearing Thursday. But in the roughly hour of additional footage obtained exclusively by CNN, we see lawmakers transforming Fort McNair, a military base two miles away, into a command center to communicate with Vice President Mike Pence and others, even considering reconvening the congressional proceedings at the military base. We're being told it could take days to clear the Capitol and that we should be moving everyone here to get the job done. Uh, we're at which has facilities for the House and the Senate to meet. We'd rather go to the Capitol and do it there, but it doesn't seem to be safe. While Pence evacuated the Senate chamber, he stayed behind in the Capitol with his security detail. I worry about you being in that Capitol, though. I hope, don't let anybody know where you are. Yeah, I'd like to know a good goddamn reason why it's been denied. Then Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer shouting at Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy after hearing a rumor Trump blocked the National Guard going to the Capitol. Please move. It's, it, the whole Capitol is rampaged. There's a picture of someone sitting in this chair of the Senate. We've all been evacuated. There have been shots fired. We need a full National Guard component now. She said it was not denied. I'm going to call up the effing Secretary of DOD. A group of lawmakers, including Republican leaders Representative Kevin McCarthy and Senator Mitch McConnell, calling acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller, urging a faster response. By getting there in one hell of a hurry, you understand? Got you loud and clear, Leader. And Pelosi and Schumer also confronting acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen in a heated phone call. No, 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 please answer my question. Answer my question. Senator, Senator, I'm going to do everything I can do. Does that include asking the president to get these people who are followers of hers to leave the Capitol? Finally, word coming from Pence that it was safe to return. I'm literally standing with uh, the chief of the U.S. Capitol Police. And he just informed me their best information is that they believe that the House and the Senate will be able uh, to the in roughly an hour. Uh, Good news. Which they did just after 8 p.m. Let's get back to work. The footage also showing Pelosi before the attack. And let us hope that they will see the light as well and have their own epiphany on the other side. Participating in a video call with House Democrats from our conference room. The same room that was ransacked hours later by rioters. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Now, when he comes here, we're going to the White House. <laughs> Pelosi later seen reacting to Trump's speech. You can see them marching up. And the rioters making their way towards the Capitol. Secret Service said they have dissuaded him from coming to Capitol Hill. They told him they don't have the resources to protect him here. So at the moment, he is not coming, but that could change. I would come to him and punch him out. This oh, is my mom. I would pay to see that. I'm waiting for this, for trespassing on the Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out, and I'm going to go to jail, and I'm going to be happy.